going back years ago, and I'm of that generation, we used to all be told when we got to a certain age, and it's usually around 50, mm -hmm. that we had to get our hair cut shorter right. to look stylish and modern. I remember watching Oprah Winfrey do shows about this, and they'd have hairstylists come in and do a hairstyle for these women and say, see how much more modern and stylish they look. <laughs> this went on for years and years and years. In fact, it's only been but in the last now. decade or so that that, or even now. But that, I still get clients that come in and they want shorter hair because they think well that in their heads they think that they should have shorter hair because they they, they think it's it's the thing to do but because we were told because you were told to do it but no stylists told them, us i convinced them not to cut it and then they think, told us so society it. told us so other women told us yeah that we should all get our hair cut shorter as we get older mm. well over a year ago i made a video about mature women wearing their hair long as I do. At the time, my hair was about two inches, maybe a little bit more longer than it is now. I mentioned it wasn't just long hair, but it was long gray hair or silver hair like mine. So wearing your hair long and not coloring your hair, that combination in particular. I'm in my mid sixties, not many women over 60 or even over 55 wear their hair long. The reason I made that video wasn't about me and my hair. Should I cut my hair? Should I not cut my hair? It wasn't about that, but it seemed to get misinterpreted as that. And still to this day, I get comments all the time about either keep it long or cut it shorter. Mostly the feedback was keep it longer. Of course, many said cut it, wear it shorter. But I would say about 75% said keep it long. As you can see, I did not get a shorter haircut. I really wasn't psychologically ready for that. Quite a bit shorter than it was before, and I have been cutting it myself. <laughs> I know, probably absolutely hopeless at it, but I just trim it myself when it's wet. I realise that trimming it myself probably makes it look quite unprofessional. So I've booked into my favourite hairdresser and I'm still not going to have a cut in a short style. I'm just not ready. And then we can see if it looks more modern, if it looks more stylish with allowing the hairdresser to do it instead of me doing it. And once again, you can all chime in with your opinions about mature ladies wearing their hair longer. And I'm talking mostly women over 60 wearing their hair longer, whether you think it's a good look, not a good look, not a modern look, not a stylish look, or whether you think it can be. A lot of the comments from the last video mentioned that it depends on the condition of your hair, whether you can wear it longer or not longer. I totally agree with that. And I don't have the best condition with my hair. It could be a lot better. And yet that still doesn't stop me from wearing it long. Maybe it should. The reason I made the video really wasn't so much about me and my longer hair. It really was about the concept that many stylists have, many hairstylists have, fashion stylists have, that when a woman gets to a certain age, she should cut her hair shorter. And some say that age is around 50. By all means, if you prefer your hair shorter and you're 50, go for it. For those of you that didn't see my original video about long hair on mature ladies, I thought that I would just briefly repeat what I did in that video by pinning my hair up to make it look shorter and also putting on my budget wig so you can get an idea of what I might look like if my hair was not super short but just shorter than what it is now. So here it is, I've pinned it up with bobby pins and it's sitting just at the end of my ears or just below my earlobe there. So for me, this would be short hair. But of course, it wouldn't be rounded and smooth like that on the ends. In fact, if I had my hair cut shorter, Adam, my hairdresser said yesterday, my hair would just go this way because I've got a lot of hair. It's fine hair, but I have a lot of it. And the most volume in my hair is here in the center. So I have to be really wary of getting my hair cut. I couldn't wear it in a bob. There's just no way. It would just be um, a triangle, actually. It, it wouldn't look good. It'd have to be all layered and cut, probably even shorter than this, to be honest, because it will just bush out. I flicked the side bit over here just to give it a little bit more style in the front. I thought it looked better than this. I thought by sweeping the layers across, it just looked better.
Do you like my boho earrings? I hardly ever wear these, but I bought this new sweater in cobalt blue and I thought they match perfectly. So I couldn't resist doing a, a matching look. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. I make it all the time. I was in the fashion industry for over 35 years. I have a passion for fashion and I want to share that with you. And don't forget to give me a like. It's so appreciated. At the end of this video, I'll leave my previous long hair video and one on ponytails. Should mature women wear ponytails? I'll leave both of those videos at the end of this video. Here I am back from the hairdressers. He trimmed some off the edge, not a lot, maybe probably an inch at the very most and he tidied up the front here with the layers he cut the layers a lot shorter than i had them and a lot more even than i had them i'm pretty sure you'll agree that my hair does look more stylish after going to the hairdresser he did a great blow dry as he always does he gave a little bit of wave here on the end just kicking up the ends just giving it a little bit more style again and i think you'll agree that it looks a lot more groomed and after the fun chat that we had, I'm more convinced than ever that I'm not ready to wear my hair short. And I'm also more convinced than ever that a big part of how you wear your hair is your personality. It's got to do with your personality. And women are embracing grey and that's caught on and that's acceptable. But they're still stuck with the long hair versus the short or short hair. Short I mean, some hair. short hair does suit. It suits some it, people, but... It does. It depends on the shape of your face as well. You know, shape, and I tend, we tend to, we tend to lose a bit we of weight do. in our faces when we, we get older. We do. And so yeah. to have more hair around our face actually complements our yeah. faces. Yeah. And I think that if you don't get a really great hair cut, like a very stylish haircut that mm. suits your face, I have seen so many woeful oh, short hair cuts on women that are just. Horrible, and I think they age them unless you get a really great haircut. Yeah, I think it will age totally. You. And but it also kills your confidence as well. Getting a bad short haircut and a bad haircut, but it's important to have face painting as well, too, because for the mm. shape of our faces, because we do tend to hollow out oh, definitely. in areas, but our bone structure stands out. So if you have face framing around the face, mm. it brings us, it pops you up, yeah, as well. and we need that. <laughs> so, um it all, yeah, just looking after it and keeping style. So you feel like it mostly depends on shape of the face, yeah. condition of the hair, yeah. and personality. And personality. Yeah. My mum's in a, oh, she's, she's turned 65, and she's, she's, she doesn't have a single grey, so she's lucky. Very lucky. Um, but her hair's down to here. Gorgeous. And she's got a really, she's got solid fringe, bangs, and she looks amazing. Which is sort of going against yeah. trend because they say mature women shouldn't wear yeah. she heavy looks amazing. Adam's mother is um, a year younger than me, and she wears her hair even longer than I do. And he showed me photos of her, and she looks amazing. She's really young at heart and vibrant. You can tell that just by looking at the photos. And you can see it suits her personality. She has long blonde hair at 65, and she's not grey at all. She doesn't have grey hair. Incredibly lucky lady. Although there's nothing wrong with going grey and not, not being blonde anymore. Although, personally, if I had the choice of not going grey at all i would choose that because i quite liked being my warm blonde and now i look like well i'm white i might even look like a white blonde this is grey <laughs> there is nothing like a good blow dry and i mean a good blow dry because i've had a lot of blow dries in my life and usually what they do is they flatten my hair out they flatten it on the top they flatten it out everywhere he knows how to give it a little bit of bounce and I just love that. I have forgotten how good it can feel to go to the hairdresser and get your hair styled. I have so much more confidence right now and I forgot about that. I used to go regularly. I got out of the habit due to COVID like lots of us did and I'm not going to leave it so long this time. I'm going to have my regular trims and I love my professional blow dries.
so I'll definitely be indulging and spoiling myself more often. I just forgot it's so uplifting to your spirit to make yourself look better. So the message ladies is wear your hair how you want to wear your hair and if you want to change have a change. It's your hair, it's your decision. Don't feel like you have to do anything. And that includes not colouring your hair anymore. If you're not ready for that and you don't want to go grey, don't do that either. Just because it's such a trend and has been for many years now, I didn't do it for that reason. But don't do that either. If you love colouring your hair, you keep doing that. It's about whatever feels right for you.